Dan's gonna tie one or two of these flies for us uh, for tomorrow. And uh, obviously, he's, how many years did you say you've been fishing this river? I've been fishing up for 11 years. 11 years. 11 years. So by now he knows what works. He knows his bugs, and he can't be bugged about any other bugs but these bugs. So he said this is the the easier one to tie. Yeah. Which makes a, a nice quick demonstration. It's a quick and easy fly to tie. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Great. So really what you want is you want a, a proper thread base on any fly. That's a, a problem with a lot of the commercial flies. You want a proper, proper, proper thread base. So that's what that does is prevent the materials from slipping and turning on the fly. And then what we're going to do is we're going to glue the whole bottom of the, of the fly down as well. Going to add the bottom layer of foam. The hopper doesn't have a, a square bum, so we just give him a little bit of a pointy bum. One thread wrapped down for the bum, one locking thread under, and another one over the top. And then we're going to add the second colour, give it a little bit of a pointy bum. So we tie this one on top and over and over. And then the trick is to get the segmentation nice, but instead of taking the thread over so you have crisscross wraps, we basically just bring the thread forward, forward along the hook shank. Strap it over and get a segment and then bring it forward, give myself another segment and bring it forward and we do the head. The head is there and a locking wrap underneath it. So you end up with a nice segmented fly body. We essentially finished with our top colour, so I cut that off and some crystal flash. The crystal flash basically represents on the wing of the hopper you've got that soft kind of like almost like a plastic wing which sits underneath the main wing of the the hard wing of the hopper and that's that will reflect light so that's what this does so it's just to give a bit of a, a little bit of attraction to the hopper and we just bring the thread back one segment put the wing in Tie the wing in, lock it in. And essentially the wing is about the same length length as the hopper. So we just cut those off. Then we're going to use some LK for the main wing. This is very nice material, just aids as a sighter. So you can see the fly. Well, the fly is big enough anyway. But it also provides flotation along with the foam. You need to put it into a stacker. You see all the hairs, all different lengths. So what we do is we just stick it into a Stacking device, it's meant for small amounts, eh? small dry flies. Give it a couple of taps. And then when you pull it out, you'll see all the ends are much better stacked. Okay, so now we've got the, we've got the hair. Basically, we're going to put it in on top of the, top of the underwing. So this is now the, now the overwing. And we're just going to wrap it down on the head with a couple of couple of wraps and then we're going to cut off the excess and then bring the top color over to create the, the bullet head of the hopper and just cinch that down and cut off the excess and you can see that's pretty much three quarters of the fly already done and then the last thing is just to add some legs onto the beast these are rubber legs. Color really doesn't matter. What's quite nice about them though is they are segmented in terms of color. So they've got already got some barring on them. Really don't think the fish make any matter to the color. And just adjust them slightly. So I've got a slightly longer leg at the back. So that's the fly. And then we just whip finish. So I put the whip finish over the top. And that's it. Really easy. The last step then, what we what we do then, just to secure those wraps, I use a UV resin 
and just put it put some underneath the body it just helps seal the body and then also just secure the thread thread wraps and bang it with a torch for a couple of seconds and that's it fresh out of the marble studios little catchfish mm -hmm.